we go. And it looks like we're live. We've made it. Oh, oh hello, God. everyone. Welcome. Oh, sorry, everyone. To the show. It's all Tyler's <laughs> fault. Tyler, it's did. my fault. It's he, okay. You know what? what? We forgive you. Thank you. There you go. We'll make you pay later. Oh, yeah, shit. I know. Uh, hey, uh, hi, everyone. Uh, we're not going to Gen Con, and we all decided we're really fucking sad about it. So we decided to get together <laughs> and do something really stupid to replace that feeling of sadness with one of shame. So here we are on the shame boat. Wait, did I agree to that? Uh, uh, it's too I late now. To feel shame. Uh, setting the tone there. Okay, Chuck. Yeah. Challenge accepted. Hey, it's fine. Uh, today, oh, I don't think I should make a, today's episode sponsored by Pee Wee Herman. It's probably a little too yep. soon. <laughs> oh, maybe. Maybe. No, in, in it should be sponsored by the bicycle company. The, the Red... whoever makes that cool ass bike. Yeah. I, by Big Bertha. Big Wait, can Bertha. we sponsor, be sponsored by that one uh, theater in New York? The one that he got in trouble in? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> they'd probably accept us. They might. I don't think they're open anymore. Probably not. Uh, COVID took a lot of things out. <laughs> it's true. Uh, anyway, <laughs> hi, everyone. What is the secret word? I don't know what the secret word is. The secret word is going to be goatsy. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, I don't even know. Oh yeah, we're playing Teenage Odyssey. It is the game that I am making. I technically I think I can say I've made my part of the game. I'm just waiting mm -hmm. for the studio to finish approving it so we can kick it off to editing and art and then we can pay Bert money to do layout. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, so yeah, Teenage Odyssey based on Mark of the Odd. Uh, we are playing as teenagers in, I think I said 1996, small town America. Uh, why don't we meet our cast and then we'll just get into this fucking story because shit's gonna get weird tonight. Uh, let's oh. see if I can go that way or I can go down. Let's go, let's go, let's give Tyler a chance to eat. Bert, who you playing? Oh, uh, who am I playing? That's, that's a good question. I am playing Simon. Um, I am a band geek who plays the saxophone only because his parents wouldn't buy him a better instrument because he, he is a metal head through and through. Yeah. He wears the jean jacket with all the war patches everywhere. But it's kind of hard to get your deepest, darkest metal out on a saxophone. But it was the closest thing he could get to a guitar. Absolutely. And I chain smoke like a fiend. Of course, it's the 90s. <laughs> I'd say Kenny G C D. Uh-huh. All right. Jeremy, what do you got, man? Praise be. I'm Trevor Belmont. I'm the church camp kid. I you know, spend most of my weekends working on a habitat for humanity, soup kitchen, and things like that. And I'm just really happy to be here. Thanks for including me. Very nice. Hang on a second. All right. John, who are you playing? I am Ben. Live on the farm. And, you know, do stuff there. Yeah. Yeah. That's fair. Yep. It's very fair. And I, Tyler. Yeah. Oh, you were making noises still? No, I'm I'm what no. Okay. <laughs> Tyler, what do you got, man? Hi guys, I'm Richard Dixon. I also play the saxophone. Very nice. You're my rival for chair one. Oh, shit. <laughs> Did I? I don't know if I'm I better you. than you. I tried to, to mention Probably, this. Probably, but I've got more soul. Yeah. <laughs> I try to mention this as often as I can. In high school, I was first chair saxophone. But not because I was good. I was a fucking problem. And so the band director put me in third chair so he would have direct line of sight on me. And then first and second chair quit. So I <laughs> got promoted up to first chair. Chuck, you were a problem in high school? Who the fucking thunk it? Can't imagine. So. Can't imagine. Can't imagine. In most small towns, there is usually an establishment or two 
that is the focus of curiosity for most teenage boys. A place that they just want to go to so fucking bad, but due to legal requirements, they're not allowed to. In the name of this place in your town is none other than Skankles. Um, I know where that's based off of. Oh my god, Skankles! <laughs> Jeremy, <laughs> you said the other day, I want to go to Skankles again. I'm like, how can I make this happen? And this is how I'm making it happen, Jeremy. So happy. I, I love that it looks like an old Pizza Hut. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it, it does. Oh it my is. gosh. Yeah. Well, initially, I was going for an old Red Lobster, but none of the pictures that I had were of the right quality. So I'm like, what's uh -huh. the next one? Should have been a Long John Silver. Oh, it could have been a Long John Silver's. <laughs> that would have been another very funny fit for that. <laughs> so, your town, Skankles, the adult entertainment shop that provides free hot dogs to all patrons. Uh, but they. Uh, they only provide grocery store strength beer because they lost their actual liquor license. Uh, mm. But that's not the reason why a group of young teenage boys want to go there. Not at all, no. Although, you all have gotten a lead, the four of you, about this upperclassman that you know. By the name of Randall McPherson. Now, Randall, he's the coolest six-year senior that you know. <laughs> oh. oh, God. So, like, guys, like, I know, like, you've been wanting to go to, like, Skankles for a while, man. Well, now that I'm finally old enough to just go in, like, I don't need my uh you know secret entrance anymore to get in there so like here's a map well, we know where it is it, it's right <laughs> there yeah but they won't <laughs> let you in through the front door so this map it goes through the old like sewer kind of thing and like uh -huh. comes up in like the basement like, back when it was a Pizza Hut, like, I think they knew about it, but since it became a Skankles, like, no one knows about it. And, like, that's how I've been getting in. I sneak in, I go through the kitchen, grab a few hot dogs, and then after that, I head into the dance area and, like, you know, man. Oh, so you can grab more than one hot dog at a time? It's free hot dogs, not hot dog. Oh yeah. my gosh! Yeah, a wiener weird. in every hand, man. Yeah, every man. hand. Would it be wrong to like fill up, fill up a backpack of those and then take it to the soup kitchen so they could have soup and a hot dog? You're focusing yes. on the wrong thing, but I bet you could. Or the right thing. Mm. I'm in. Let's mm -hmm. do this. Yeah. Should I don't know, guys. Boots Wait, or something? no. Hold on. There, there might be a deal killer here, though. Go do they have your hot sewer? sauce for those hot dogs? No, man. I mean, it's literally just bread in a hot dog, but that's not why you go there. Really? Well, you Free hot, hot dogs is not why dogs? you go there? No, man. Oh, yeah. Here, I, I keep some Tabasco with me. Hold it here. See, hey, just take just that with Just pour some on the back of your hand. Just, it's awesome. Just take a shot. Now, my, my mom doesn't let us have Tabasco or salt. <laughs> <laughs> or bread. No, we get to eat. We eat so much bread. Uh, oh, but I'm yeah. really bad. Yeah. Yeah. We break it every day. Huh? Uh, <laughs> uh, you're all not getting the point though. Like you go in there uh -huh. to see boobies. <gasps> they have birds there? Fucking Christ, man. <laughs> <laughs> I should have given this to the other group. Like, like udders? <laughs> I see udders. lots of udders and teats. <laughs> Oh, when one time I looked I, at the National should... Geographic magazine at school, and 
Wow. Wow, indeed, man. I read a magazine about the, the these Johnson and Johnson people that did this big study on sex. I don't know why it was in the magazine rack, but it was there. It was I there. It. I read it a lot. Anyway, make sure like if you all got like a few dollars, take a few dollars with you. Okay. Got four. That's I mean, plenty. they'll have chains for a hundred. Can I get like, you know, like rain boots if we're going through a sewer? It may not I mean, hurt. So I mean, it, if it's a if it's a National Geographic, that means it's like for science, and so that makes it okay, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, I don't know. The things that I've done with the National Geographic weren't for science. Oh, just reading for enjoyment. Okay. God, you guys I are like fucking about animals too. Simon, I thought these guys were cool. Oh, they're cool, man. I'm just a little disappointed in having no hot sauce there, though. You've got your own hot sauce once again. Who cares about the hot dogs? I heard they were pretty good. I mean, I got to admit, I was looking forward to the hot dogs. I mean, the boobies. I mean, hell, I've got Playboys for that. Yeah, but they're not <laughs> real life. Wait, wait. Do you get to touch the boobies? Oh, God, no. You'll get shot. Oh, I'll pull out the latest edition of the play. That is no different than doing this right there. I can't touch that either. <laughs> can, can, can I trust me? Can just it? go. You'll all be changed men when Trevor, it's over. Trevor, clo close your fly is going to go. Just... Uh, 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 what is that? <laughs> the perfection of God, I think. I need to go to Skankles. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah you just go down by the gas station you know by the Casey's and then you go down into the drainage ditch and you go through the tunnel and then when you're in the tunnel there's a little like great hatch off to the side on the left and like oh, wait a minute wait a minute you're talking about like near the steam tunnels where those bunch of geeks that wore like those like costuming and like foam rubber swords got lost last year yeah oh i'm down yeah but just follow Dude. the map i gave you and like it's a super crude like fucking shaky hand pen map uh it definitely looks more fun than watching cows do it I hope so. It's really fun when you push the cows in the middle of it. They oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's yeah. so fun for them to be so sleeping. And just, uh. It's hard. It's, it's harder than you think, but, you know, fun. Uh, I'm I, I'm down. I mean, there's more of that. I ain't got a curfew. There. I'm okay. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'll still that. get a backpack full of hot dogs. With I mean, if that's what you want, man. I want to do more scientific uh, research. Yes. <laughs> That's so much better than National Geographic. That looks even better than the cover of my book. She doesn't even look like she's been stabbed. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, oh that's in hustler and, and, i didn't bring any of those <laughs> ben pulls out like this this tattered paper paperback that has like a you know cartoonishly drawn feminine shaped robot and it's and it's titled naked came the robot huh mine i i just have my my mom always makes me carry a copy of the good book and my cross. That's what I've got. Well, you all should go because I'm tired of you being here. Yeah. Can yeah. bring you back some hot dogs or something? Sure. Light up a Marlboro. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <Let's>... <laughs> Uh, we should get oh, wait a minute. He said we needed some money. Hey, what do we got? Well, I got I bought a pocket full of change, a couple of crumpled up bills. I got like four dollars. I got two. Uh, you see, Trevor is like really uncomfortable. <laughs> we we do lots of collections. Mm -hmm. Hey, Trevor, is that cross silver? Because I think you could turn it in for the pawn shop for a couple bucks. No, 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 no. 
How about how about the Bible? Is it autographed by God or anything? Maybe no. worth a few bucks. No. Um, like we do we do do collections for Habitat for Humanity, or like I, I'm the one who like passes the plates on Sunday. And I know where they, they, they never mind. I sh- I shouldn't say uh, anything. You, you know where do you know where they keep the collections money? We would be distributing it to 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 the poor and the needy. I mean, yeah. look at them. They need clothes. Yeah. Oh my god, they, they need do. so much. They do. That's why they're oh. like that. It's lack of money. I need to help them. You do need to help them. Oh God. I'm yeah. sure he'd be in on this too. Okay. So we got a church heist? <laughs> We've got a church heist. Fucking it. Let's do it. <laughs> you all <laughs> hop What's onto your bikes. Happen? You ride across town. Now, Trevor, why don't you describe this church to us? Oh, God. It is just like a shitty, like, run down baptist church where you've got like that hellfire and brimstone preacher you've got like some of the wood siding like is rotten on certain spots there's fucking like those giant wasp nests here and there nobody goes to this goddamn church except for like some people that are really dedicated yeah all right so You find yourselves at the church. You park your bikes in some bushes back behind it so no one sees your bikes from the road. You know that there's the main doors on the front. There's the side door that kind of goes into like where the, uh, you know, the youth groups and stuff where they can go down to the basement and they can have their service uh, during the main service. There's a little kitchen area out back. Uh, of that with the dining area for when they have functions, weddings, funerals, everything they would have at this church. Um, And then also, you know, that on the backside of the church, there is another door there that goes into, they've got a few classrooms, like three or four little classrooms kind of on the back of this church that they use for uh, their Bible school during the summers, things like that. Uh, Maybe you're weekly AA meeting that meets in the church maybe goes in through that door. Uh, What's the plan? Um, Okay. So last summer at VBS, like the vacation, the, or VBC, the vacation Bible camp, um, we set up a special slide going out the window of one of the rooms in the classrooms. Um, And I remember like, I think one of the windows got messed up from trying to put the slide in. I think we might be able to get into that window. Okay. All right. Go check it out. Which window? That one. Yeah. Okay. Now, does anybody like live here? The, like, all the time? pasture lives in a small uh, little house. Mm-hmm. Uh, across the street. Yeah, so like so, we've got to be kind of quiet because yeah, I mean uh, he's probably um, well, we don't talk about how he is at this time of day. Uh, okay. I think he drinks. Well, yeah, you see the window, Trevor, you pointed out you're very confident that that's that window that got broke when they put the slide up in it and the latch no longer latches. Now it is a little high up, maybe like eight feet to ground in the bottom I'm of the window. Not good for much, but somebody can use me as a step. I'll boost somebody like, up onto my I shoulders. Think, I think Trevor needs to be going to open, open the yeah, window. Trevor knows in. where it is. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll be lookouts. All right. Thanks, Dick. If Richard, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm, I'm I'm so sorry. So Richard, you hop down on all fours. Trevor, you step on on his back. You put your fingers up and you scooch the glass up. Scooch the glass up. Let's do our first test. 
Uh, we'll go ahead and do a luck test. And this oh, is, shit. You <laughs> roll a d6, mm -hmm. and you try to hit at or less for your luck score. So when your luck is one... <laughs> <laughs> one in six. You got to hit a one. <laughs> Yeah, that ain't happening. <laughs> As you push this window up and you kind of get it into position, hands go up on the seal and you start getting ready to pull yourself up and just maybe the shift of weight in the frame or something like that, the window loose and just drops hard right across your hands. Ooh. Uh, I'm going to say that uh, you can take some damage. Yeah, that's fair. So let's say, let's just do, this is light. We're, we'll start us out easy. We'll do a D4. Uh, Ooh, you take three oh points. God. So that comes out of your HP first. And then when your HP is empty, it starts coming out of your body. God damn. As <laughs> this the, is a brutal game. Yeah. I slap my hand here? over Trevor's mouth before he screams out. <laughs> yeah. It hits the glass, breaks <laughs> Like the entire like window pane just like falls forward. Oh, God. Uh yeah. Simon, you slap your hand over Trevor's mouth before he screams on pain. Trevor, both your hands just got crushed and they are hurting good. Trevor, Trevor, here, here. Pull out my flask and <laughs> pour some down oh. Trevor's throat. <laughs> It'll numb the pain, man. Here, here. <laughs> I I am swallow, going to swallow a massage his throat. <laughs> get a fight, get a fight a rock, like a like a decent sized rock, and then just throw it in the window. No, it's now broken. I don't think we need to. Well, yeah, the no no sells it. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you just toss a rock in there. That way, it looks like someone threw a rock through the window. But good news is the window's not in your way anymore. So. Someone's just got to shimmy on in. Trevor, you're still the only one that knows the way. Trevor's the only one that knows the way, but he's going to get blood all over the carpets now. Hey, just okay. here, I'll go in. Trevor, just tell me where to look. Okay, I'll put my hands into my armpits like this, <laughs> and I'll walk behind you. Okay. Simon, you hop up. Uh, that is two points of luck. Everyone can increase your luck by two. Wow, okay. Thanks, Sammy. Thank uh, you. In the journal section, Thanks, honey. there's a rules 2.0 in the rules folder. It says rules. Uh, luck you can use for a couple things. One is I'll do luck checks like we just did. Uh, you can burn a point of luck for a reroll. Uh, and what was the other thing you can do with it? Yeah, that's it. You can burn a point of luck for a reroll. And uh, you can reroll any fucking die. So, Simon, you go up. Trevor hops up behind you. Trevor, you got your hands under your armpits. That way you don't drip blood everywhere. Where's this money at? Uh, I mean, honestly, like, we don't, he doesn't really have a fancy safe. He just, he just hides it. Um, but one day he was, um, Again, like we don't we don't talk about it, but he was um indisposed like during service, and so he just showed me where the floorboard was. Like there the basically and there's like a special floorboard we need to go to to like pull up and sure. you know find where they stash the zipped up satchel collections. Uh also Sammy, thank you for that banked reroll. I've got it noted. Ooh. You all have a banked reroll. Uh as you're all moving through, it's an old church. Definitely. It's got a lot of give to some of the floors here and there. Uh, why don't... Uh... So we know for sure that Simon and Trevor went in. Ben and Richard, are you two going in? Uh, uh, I think we should stay out here and keep watch. Yeah. Okay. So... We're going to have, everyone's going to do a roll for me. Simon, Trevor, the two of you are going to give me body rolls to try and move quietly through this church. While Ben and Richard, you are lookouts. You're going to give me mind rolls. Uh, 
Okay. Let's see. And this is D20 roll under. D20 roll under. You want to hit yeah, at or well under. under. That's nice, mm -hmm. Bert. Got a four. Yo. Okay, all good. Okay, so I failed Joe. I don't know. For some reason, it keeps saying I'm Joe. Uh, it's probably your old character. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. You log in as Joe? You're not, but yeah. that's okay. I'll just change you over to John. Okay. Uh, Buddy. So, John, you said you failed? Yes. All right. And let's see. Trevor, oh. how'd you do? I'm good. Eight under 17. Nice. Richard? Uh, eight under 13. Nice. So, Simon, Trevor, two of you are moving through this uh, church, avoiding all the creaky boards, sticking away, like hiding from shadow, or uh, moving, staying away from windows, ducking under a window here and there. It's not a problem. And you eventually find the little board, you wiggle it up, and there is the bag that the collections are stored in. Now, Ben, Richard, mm -hmm. the two of you are out keeping watch. We'll say you're kind of maybe hiding in some bushes. Richard, you're watching down the street towards the left. Ben, you're watching down the street towards the right. Richard, you see that there is a dude on a bicycle coming down the street. He's got one of those like little like lamps. Maybe it's just a flashlight taped to the front bar of his bike. Um, maybe you recognize this guy from around town. Uh, but as you're watching, you realize he's just going for a ride. He doesn't realize you're there. You ignore him. Now, Ben, on the other hand, you also notice this dude going down the street. You are starting to worry that this guy is going to notice you. And then, all of a sudden, you feel something furry brush against your ankle. I look down. Uh, go ahead and give me another mind test here. The actual goddamn furry crawling across the ground. <laughs> you fucked up. I did. Oh, no. Oh, no. You see... This goddamn skunk woven, like woven between your legs, mouth open, getting ready to bite down on your ankle. What do you do? Kick it. All right, give me a body oh, no. test. <laughs> I make that. As you leap back and punt. This skunk across the street, it lands in the backyard of the, uh, you know, the house across the street. You can hear the dogs in that backyard start barking. Oh, now, Richard, you you're not sure what happened, but something spooked Ben. And you look over and you see that he just kicked a black cat across the street. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and now the... Cats hissing, you hear dogs barking. Things have kind of escalated a little bit, but hopefully eyes will be on the dogs in that yard and not necessarily on all of you. Now, Simon and Trevor. Oh, there is a potato on Bert. Smash it. Is it a potato? <laughs> That's right, Jeremy's got to smash it. Maybe it's Maybelline. Oh, and there's feet. Nice, Sammy. Uh, Trevor, Simon, you open this bag. It's kind of heavy. Feels like maybe it hasn't gone to the bank here in a little bit. It's 500 bucks. Small so Trevor, bills. It's usually like 10% that the church asks for, right? Yeah. Yeah, so let's just take like 50 bucks then. 10%. Right. That's fair. They We're take 10, we take 10. to the needy. Exactly. 10% to the ladies who need clothes. And maybe a burger. I don't think the hot dog's feeding them very well. well you, oh God, Simon, you're so smart. 
Uh, and we need small bills too. Oh, there's a lot of ones in here. Yeah. <laughs> Take 50 ones out. <laughs> Good thinking. As you all... Um, Simon, Trevor, you start making your way out of the church, unless there's anything else you want to do while you're in there. Just in case, I'll wad it up and I'll stick it down, like I'll pull out the mouthpiece of my saxophone and I'll shove the wad down oh, okay. the saxophone. Yeah, stash it in the saxophone. Very good. Uh, Ben, Richard, you caused this commotion. What are you going to do? Richard's going to like... Just hide? Uh, yeah. is, is there, down the grass. Yeah, is there like, yeah, is there like some tall grass that we oh, could yeah. like? Oh yeah, sure, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Two of you know. dive. Simon, should do what? Oh, sorry. Simon, I had an idea. What do you got? So I've been to the vacation Bible camp here. Do they have a first aid kit for in case of emergencies? Absolutely. Yeah. I'm gonna go wrap up my hands. Absolutely, you can go wrap up your hands. And I'll tell you what, I will let you use this as a free... Uh, let me see here. We're going to call this a free... Have a snack. Uh, you get to recover a D6 to damage. So Yay. roll a D6. First it applies to your body stat, and then after that... It applies to HP. Nice. You heal more than what I inflicted. Yeah. All right. Okay. Simon, Trevor, as the two of you, after bandaging up Trevor's hands, slip out this window, there is no sign of Ben and Richard around. You're muted, Bert. Man, I think they ran out a lot to get there ahead of us. Well, that's out. Just, I mean, that's their mistake. Yeah, let's go. Get that. We got to catch up. Good point. God, uh, Simon, you're so smart. Simon and Trevor, each of you roll me a luck test. G6, roll at or under. Now, your luck has oh, gone up by now. two. Yeah. It has. It has. It's 50 50 now. I feel. <laughs> Every time we succeed, it goes up, right? No. no. Oh, that's right. We got two luck. I forgot. Yeah, Sammy Ooh, bought two I'm, luck. I, I met it. Trevor, you hear a, a soft, Psst, get down. And you look, and you can see nearby Ben poking his head out of the tall grass. Oh, son of shit. They're saying get down. What? Over there. <laughs> there was a skunk. And I kicked it, and now the dogs are barking. We should a, just crawl away. It was a cat, you dumbass, and I elbow him in the side. Totally a skunk. It's a cat. Skunk. You, you guys realize that like animals have like a great sense of smell. I don't think hiding like that no, gonna really help. People that look out the window because the dogs are barking. Okay, well, and there's like the, it's after school. We're not. It's it, not like that we're playing hooky or anything. Get up, let's go. There's a 50-50 chance that Pastor Grimes is <clears throat> indisposed, but Keep we should still word. crawl. Okay, sure. Amanda crawl. Okay. I'm not getting dirt on this jacket. Okay. So oh. three of you crawl I'll away. I'll duck walk. <laughs> I'll duck walk. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, he's so smart. He knows everything. You make it to your bikes, you hop on, you dart down a back alley and pop out on another street a couple blocks away. Now what's the plan? Following oh, the map? My bike definitely has like the oh, banana yeah. seat and the, uh, oh, yeah. the, the big handle. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Get, you know, like rubber boots or anything. I don't want to, you know, go treading into someplace nice with shit all over my feet oh this chuck could take your chuck taylor's off man just go barefoot it's fine my parents will kill me if they find out i got mud on my shirt really you know that's kind of an ugly shirt never mind hey look i, I just took my chuck taylor's off i don't wear socks anyway oh, oh does anybody <laughs> have like a, a long leather trench coat like on that highlander show no man those things are expensive but i feel you on that 
I had to remove that, that from the game too. Sick. <laughs> oh. uh, along with yeah. the name change, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so what's the plan? Oh, no, man, let's just feel the crap between your toes. It's good for you. I, I, I do that. I just okay. take my shoes, put them around my neck, get down in there. Uh, I'm not taking. I got. I got boots on, so it's okay. fine. My mom told me if you walk around barefoot, there's special worms that can like crawl up through the bottom of your feet, and then they go through your veins and your bloodstream up into your brain, and you die. You believe everything your mom tells you? Yes. Really? Take a real good she... look in the mirror sometime and then look at your dad. I don't oh. think your mom tells you everything. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> His mom's a doctor. She actually is pretty smart. Why does <laughs> the milkman always bring you a Christmas present? <laughs> he's really nice. I like Mr. I like Mr. Yancey. He's so he's so nice. Okay. Uh so yeah, there's nothing else. Uh you all can uh everything escalates quick in this game. Yes it does. Yeah. You all make it to the uh like the map said, you go next to the Casey's, you know where there's a spot to kind of like park your bikes back around like the uh, wooden fence around the dumpster there at that gas station. Yeah. Yeah. So, so wait till we get to the water before the Chuck Taylors come off, of sure. course. <laughs> and yeah, you make it down this drainage ditch and you can see the tunnel he was talking about. Like it's just this drainage tunnel, maybe like four foot. Uh, in diameter, so enough that you all can like, you know, crouch a little bit, and walk in. Okay, yeah, did someone bring a flashlight? No, I'm scared of the dark. Zippo. He's <laughs> got a lighter. Okay. We'll be fine. I mean, what do you think we're gonna find down here? If you... big rats. Oh man! Last month, my friend Franz, you know the art guy. He's so crazy, uh -huh. like spray painting things. He found a dead body down here, and he made like a metal cover out of it. It's awesome. <laughs> Ooh, so I don't know like you make a body guys. into a metal cover. Oh, no, I mean he painted it. You know, he, he captured the scene. Why did he the paint essence the dead of the corpse body? onto this metal album, man? It was sick. Oh, it was like the cover for an album. Yeah, oh. yeah. Like he set up his easel down here and everything, and just painted the dead guy onto the. It was. It's awesome. That would be super weird to it. actually like be painting the body. Yeah, I thought he was like down here, like painting metal on a, on a dead body, and I was like, that's weird. I like doing some like chrome spray paint or something. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I will I say mean, he did roll the body. He got like a buck seventeen out of it. Nice. You know, if you were all concerned about that would flashlights, like ten gallons of gas. Yeah. What? <laughs> uh, <laughs> right uh, on the other side of this drainage ditch on the other side of the uh, gas station, uh, there is the local dollar store. So if you're looking for flashlights or cheap supplies or anything, you could go there if you wanted. Oh, I'm 100% going to go one of those big old red flashlights with the... Sure. It's the fucking dollar store, so it costs a dollar. Yeah, we can't we can't break into the fifty dollars though, because that's the fund. Mm -hmm. that's yeah, church church girls. Fund. That has a holy purpose. I had three dollars in lunch money. So, okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna like just sit here and smoke a cigarette and wait for you guys to get back. Okay. Yeah, I'll wait with you. Okay. Uh, Trevor, Trevor? you going to the dollar uh, store as well? Uh, I mean, I, I, I'll I'll go with him. So you know, sure. Buddy system, you know. Buddy system. Yeah. Hey, maybe we can find another dead body down here while we wait. Why? Might have another book 17. That's a good point. Okay. Uh, so, Richard, Trevor, anything else you're getting besides one of the big red flashlights? Not unless there's just some random thing that looks really cool. I mean, it's got everything you would expect. It's got cheap food, oh, cheap oh. tools, houseware. It has to be a circle K. <laughs> it's a circle K. <laughs> nice. Something is definitely afoot at the Circle K. 
Okay, but yeah, there's nothing else. You get your flashlight. You can head back down there. Simon and Ben, are you two going in looking for dead bodies? Yeah, just a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Scope I'll things out. Them. Yeah, you <laughs> move your way in just a little bit. I mean, there's spray paint all over the walls. Uh, just graffiti. Um, you know, see a little bit of trash here and there. At first, you think maybe you do see a dead body, but then you realize it's like a branch that like a bunch of like mud and silt is kind of collected on from the water. Right now, the water is very low. Maybe at the very center of this tunnel, there's like three inches, just a little stripe down the center, easy enough to completely avoid. Um, I'll leave the Chuck Taylors on for now. Then. Okay. Is is there a longer length of the branch sticking out? Uh, or do you want a stick? Yes. Uh, yes. If a stick is available, I must Corpse make a spoken stick. stick. Yeah. You grab a stick. Go ahead and roll me a d4. Two? It's a two-foot stick. I got a two-foot stick. Yeah. Uh, Just in case. Yeah. Might be raccoons or something down here. It very well might be. So for a two-foot stick as a weapon, that would be a small weapon, uh, which would technically do a d6. Yeah, it's just a d6 small oh. weapon held in one hand. Uh, and eventually, Richard and Trevor, the two of you meet, head down to the tunnel. You can hear the sound of Simon and Ben and their little ways, casually talking, uh, a little bit out of sight. Richard, maybe if you click that flashlight on, it puts out enough light that you can kind of see them down there, maybe, maybe 30, 40 feet. So, now what? Oh, well, let's follow the map. Let's go. Okay. Oh, oh man, it's so good that we have this flashlight to like be able to look at the map. Yeah, we probably set it on fire if we had used a lighter. Yeah, Richard, <laughs> you're so smart. Okay, who's leading the way? I mean, well, I guess it's, Richard it's... can't be like Richard's probably leading with somebody like putting the flashlight over his shoulder. Or actually, maybe I can be holding it and he can flash the flashlight over my shoulder while I'm walking okay. forward with it. So Richard, then Trevor. Uh, ben, Simon, which one of you two are next? Nope. Oh. I'll be in the back. Okay, cool. As the two of you are making your way in, kind of, you know, following the few little turns here and there as indicated by the map. Um, ben, go and give me a mind test. Yay. So, I tied it. That's good. You need at or below. As you hear, like a scraping noise. Uh, kinda, it sounds a little off. And then you kind of spot it, like when a dog's got its toenails, you know, its nails just a touch too long and it walks across a hard surf. It's kind of that tapping noise here on the concrete. Mm -hmm. um, as you kind of turn and look back and the little bit of light giving off from the flashlight and then way down there from the opening of the tunnel that you came through, you can see what looks like a small creature moving towards you all. Maybe it's that skunk again. Hey guys, I think that skunk's following us. It wasn't a skunk. Well, I don't know what's back there. Behind us. Spin that flashlight around. Let's yeah. Look. Richard, as you whip around with the flashlight, all of a sudden the small creature recoils and lets out this terrible hiss as it is a very angry looking raccoon, kind of foaming at the mouth a little bit. I was wrong, it wasn't a cat. <laughs> Moving and slightly jerky kind of movements as it hisses and starts charging in towards the four of you. Oh, back. Ben, do you move, step forward and take a swing? Yep. 
Uh, yeah, okay. so with attacks Body in this turn. game, you don't have to roll to hit. You just hit, okay. and you just roll your damage. Holy shit. Uh, and then give me just a moment here, because if I remember correctly... It explodes, doesn't it? It explodes, yeah. I think I put in rules oh for explosions. Oh my gosh. Where, where is this? Anyway, yeah, we're going to say it explodes, because I am positive that I put that in there. All right, nine damage. As you run up and you club the shit out of this rabid raccoon with your stick, it recoils, it hisses, and uh, it does drop it into its body, which means that uh, it might take an injury. Okay, you can tell it starts limping a little bit. It does not seem deterred. Uh, we're using popcorn for this. So Ben, you started us off. Uh, Simon. Simon removes the saxophone case from his backpack and uses it like a bat. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> to beat the raccoon. <laughs> so your saxophone, since you're wielding it in two hands, uh, with two hands, it would count as a uh, two-handed weapon, or a big weapon, which would deal a D8 in damage. A D8? Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. <sighs> Glancing blow. Two points of damage. As it hits it, Raccoon stumbles back just a little bit. And, uh, yeah, other than just, you know, the limp that it already had nothing else it's still coming at you all simon do you want to pass the turn to anyone else trevor call on your savior trevor will reach into his backpack and he's got one of those big thick fucking old timey bibles <laughs> okay so to swing this does trevor have to use one hand or two hands i think it's a big heavy one okay so that's two hands so that's a d8 man Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. I gotta see what's coming. I must. Ah! <laughs> As Trevor caves in this rabid raccoon skull with the edge of his Bible, it lays there. It twitches. Three. Yeah, you did it, man. I'm sorry. Really Sorry, sorry. guys. It was him or you, man. Oh, oh man. I'm gonna just try and. Oh. Been okay. left don't, by blood? Don't touch it. That's how you get rabies, man. Okay. Good, 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 good point. Um. Does that mean you're gonna have a rabid Jesus in your Bible? Oh, no. No. I sure. I get yeah, yeah. Instead of being of walking on water, he's just afraid of water. Anyway. You all continue on? Yeah, yeah. I guess so. Eventually you find the turnoff that uh Randall was telling you about. There's this gate, and there's just like a, a little metal hook holding the latch on this gate closed. It's not locked. You can easily just lift up this little metal hook, and you're just a short ways away from the uh, secret basement entrance of Skankles. Do you continue? Yeah. 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 I'm this far. For science. For science. Richard, give me a mind test. Come on, guys. Where is my mind? Where is my mind? Oh, that's a D12. There we go. Wait, wait. I hit the button. Uh, yeah, it doesn't probably roll off the sheet. You'll just have to manually no, roll it. No, I know. Uh, 
Yeah. Oh, and it didn't take? There it goes. That is a fail. Yeah. As you're all walking, Richard's leading the way. All of a sudden, Trevor, someone steps up beside you and puts an arm over your shoulder. Where are you guys going? As you realize this crazy looking dude has just stepped out of the shadows from somewhere and put his arm right around Trevor's shoulder. Hi. Um, we're on the charity mission. Oh yeah. Want a cigarette? <laughs> Absolutely. Do you, are you hungry, sir? Do you, we're going to go get some hot dogs soon and we can bring you back a hot dog or two. Oh shit. You're all going to Skankles? Yes, sir. Yes, you sir. don't need to go there. No? I've got everything that you need down here. I've you got my own like club it. set up. Just around the corner. Come on. Come with me. I'll show you. Hey. It's got hey. food. It's got drinks. It's got a little bit of that special extra that People go to Skankles for? The watery hot dogs? No. Oh, he's got boobies. All right, let's go. Hey. Come on. I don't know, guys. I, like, I've worked at soup kitchens. I've seen <laughs> some of the people that come in there. Can I possibly do a mind check? Oh, yeah. To be like, whoa. Is this, I think, yeah. Maybe I even, like, maybe I've seen this dude. You might have, yeah. Okay, I gotta get under a 15. Or add her a 15. Yeah, you've seen this guy before. Uh, maybe you even know this guy. Luckily, it doesn't seem like he's recognized you at this point. He uh, kind of stopped showing up at the soup kitchens like maybe a month ago, uh, which is probably for the best because he was known as being, you know, a little creepy. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe kind of dangerous too. Hey, you know we we haven't seen you over on One Nineteenth and Antioch in a while. Yeah. Um, so I, I know it's it's been a spell, and um, I'm really happy to hear that you are feeling good and you've got a great thing going. What I would love to do is to go get you some fresh hot dogs and bring them back to you. So you can share them with all your special friends. I no 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 no. You don't want to go up there. Trust well, me, not? it's terrible. One, they don't That's let me in anymore. Yeah, yeah. And two, it's all ran by like crazy brain slugs. They're like, oh, that's metal, man. They eat your I brains. want to see the brain slugs. No, they don't. You, you, you go in, you eat the hot dogs, but they're drugging the hot dogs with baby demons. Baby demons. Yeah, you don't I want to also go in there. like baby demons. No. Yeah, I, <laughs> okay. I, I well, kind of feel like I need to see this now. I'm, I'm going to pull really out my cross. Sir, that is why we are on a mission from God to stop those baby demons. No, you don't got to stop the baby deterred. demons. Your, your establishment sounds wonderful, sir, but we have to go stop those baby demons right now. All right. Well, after you're done with the demons, come back, because I just got a new shipment of rubber gloves in. Okay. Mm. Hey, did just because what's the name of your place? Uh, Jezebel's. No, that's that's too crass. Uh Go time. Warm dark. Goat see. <laughs> Remember the uh, word. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Fuck. No, they, I call it warm dark. Oh. Because it's warm, warm down dark. here. And it's also dark <laughs> down here because it's underground. Uh not because of any other references. Uh, uh. Oh. Hey. 
you know well, what we're they gonna say, be oh, yeah. lame lame name lame band let's go guys oh. <laughs> so he just stands there forlorn and disappointed that you're all not coming to his super club i like the, I do like like the bow tie I thanks i stole it oh from that corpse last month I thought well, no. I recognized it. Well, I mean, yes, but I waited until they buried him. Oh. Wait, I dug a secret works. tunnel. <laughs> That's how I recruit most yeah. of my clientele. Uh, hey there, Oak. How's it going? Guys, I think we should go. You should. Yeah. One time I saw him try to attack a mannequin with a box opener. We got to go. I saw okay. him dancing with a lamp. Hey, well, who hasn't guy. danced with a lamp? It's a dancing man. My mother doesn't believe in lamps. <laughs> that sounds right. How does she not believe in lamps? I don't know. I have to go look in a mirror is what Simon says. <laughs> <laughs> Everything okay at home, Trevor? Yes. As you all continue Everything's on. so good. <laughs> okay. And eventually, oh, poor kid, <laughs> you come to the portion of the tunnel. There's the like iron steps, like ladder rungs set into the concrete that lead up to a like a, a grate overhead. And you can see you're looking at the inside of like a, a dark basement, something like that. And this, according to the map, should be leading you up into the basements of your target. Fellas, up there is booby heaven. Let's go. Yes. I look over to Trevor, and we're going to clothe them all. They're $50. Yeah. Oh, should we split the money up now? Oh, yeah, you're right. It was Trevor's idea. I mean, we should, you know, give him the extra since there's four of us and there's $50. Yeah. That sounds fair. Yeah. Here, Lord. We thank you for this opportunity to go forth and give to the needy and to share in fellowship with those who would give themselves willingly. And see boobies. Your creation is all divine, <laughs> especially the boobies. Please lead us. This is great. So great. This is your fault, Tyler. I know. <laughs> I'm aware. All right. So, Richard, are you leading the way up and pushing this grate open? Yes. Richard, you climb up this ladder. Everyone starts climbing up behind Richard. You push the grate open. It's just on a hinge. Just You're in a dark room. There's a light on maybe in the far corner. You're surrounded by, like, stacked boxes and maybe a crate or two. It very much hidden away. Like, you feel it's a very good hiding place. As you all move out and kind of take in your surroundings, you are in a dark, damp basement. You see on one wall, a little ways to the left, you can see there is a walk-in cooler or a walk-in freezer. Uh, there's like a, almost like a butcher's block, like food prep kind of area. There's a meat grinder. And then a little farther towards the right on the other wall, you can see that there are stairs going up. And the light that you're seeing uh, here in this uh, basement, there's a you know, bulb on a little pole chain kind of hanging above the uh, base of the stairs there. Hanging down that from meat the grinder is concerning because I've seen them open the bag full of ballpark wieners. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well. I mean, why would they have... I don't know. I mean, sometimes would you I... gotta make your own. I mean... They, we, we Maybe it's one sometimes. of those things where, like, you know, you you grind them up so, like, you can make three hot dogs out of two. They're just trying to make it stretch farther because, you know, they're free. I mean, cut it with sawdust. They, they gotta cut corners yeah. somewhere. Yeah. Or, or maybe it was here before. I mean, I don't know what this might have been before. Definitely wasn't a pizza hut. As you all hear yeah. from the direction of the stairs, a door open and heavy footsteps coming down the stairs. 
What do you all do? Hide. I hide better. back down behind the boxes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, why doesn't just for fun? Everyone, go ahead and give me a. We'll call it a luck test. Of course you would, Chuck. Of course, of course I would. No oh, God. I made. It. I made mine. Well, I'll tell you what, Sammy just bought everyone a point of luck. So yeah. everyone increase your luck by one, and then we'll see if you passed or failed. Still no. fuck. I still failed. Okay. I still passed. So those of you who passed, you easily find some place to hide. You dive back behind some crates. Not a problem. Who failed? I, I tried to get underneath the meat grinder thing, but it actually doesn't really work that well. Yeah. It's like I try to squat underneath, but there's like a little metal bar and like my, my legs still kind of sticking out a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So Sammy did just I also throw. Failed. Yeah. Sammy just threw out three more points of luck. That should max oh. out everyone's luck, right? Oh, wow. Yeah, but where's the fun in that? So we'll keep the roll. Sammy, I appreciate that. And then after the outcome, then. As this large, hulking man walks down the stairs, this dirty apron on. You can tell he's kind of staggering a little bit. Looks like he's drunk. He's got a smell of really, really cheap beer hanging around him. Maybe, you know, sweat. Just unpleasant smell. He smells comes like down. Pastor Grimes. What's that? He smells like Pastor Grimes. Yes, he does exactly what Pastor Grimes smells like when he's indisposed. When he's indisposed. As he comes down, he's got this huge like butcher's cleaver in hand. And right above the table that you're hiding under, Trevor, one of your legs is sticking out. There's a loud boom as the rest of you see that this dude just sank the cleaver into the cutting block on this table. Okay. And he goes in to this freezer and it comes out with a cardboard box with just fucking meat piled in it. Boxes like bled through dripping a little bit and he sets it down on the table. And like Trevor, he's standing right next to you. Somehow he hasn't figured out that you're there yet. Now, Richard, you also failed, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. I will say you are, uh, maybe you popped behind a, uh, like a box over by the stairs. When he was coming down the stairs, it was great cover. But now that he's standing kind of over at this table, if he were to look, just look towards his right, you would be there plain as day. You two are definitely feeling very exposed. As he starts pulling out these lumps of meat and starts hacking away, breaking them down, starts wadding stuff into this meat grinder. He pulls out a uh, pack of like casings from the box and he starts like making hot dogs. Now, Simon and Ben you're watching, and it just looks like random cuts of meat until you see one thing he pulls out. Looks like a uh, like small hoofed leg. Red skin. He starts kind of like breaking it down. He toffs the hoof to the side, pops out some bones, tosses them to the side, jams everything else in. He pulls out this round thing, and you realize it's like three quarters of a head. Ooh. As he kind of like cracks it open like a cantaloupe and starts like scooping out the brains. And you can this see- This is the most metal thing Simon's ever seen. He pulls yeah. out his notebook and starts writing down lyrics to Demon Meat Grinder. <laughs> Demon Meat nice. Grinder! Like there's all these bony protrusions all over the head Fuck and he's shoving crib. the brains in. He reaches back into the box and he pulls out a small, chubby, three-fingered arm. 
and he just chop, chop, chop. And as he's doing so, one of the fingers falls, rolls off the table, lands, and this is a like this red finger, very like strange, like an eye eye finger almost, as it kind of like bounces and just right against Trevor's face. And as this is happening, he's chopping, he's chopping. He kind of goes and he like flicks his knife off to the side, gets some blood off of it. And Richard, this splatter of blood just like right across your face, like Ooh. right along like cheek, upper lip, nose. Uh, both of you go and okay. give me mind tests. Okay. Okay. Boom. Oh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there you are. Okay, good. Did you both pass? Mm -hmm. Yep. That's too bad. I was about to do some fear damage. Catch the pucus before it comes out. You two managed to keep it together. Trevor, this big meaty hand, like reaches down and starts pawing around for the finger. Like it, like one point, like I kind of push it <laughs> just a little bit away from me. It grabs it. You hear it chunk in the meat grinder. It, it feels like five, ten minutes. This guy's going to go at this. You all going to do anything or are you going to try and wait him out? I'll try to sneak into a slightly better hiding spot. Give like me a body test. Or something. I'm just... <laughs> Trevor is just like... Right oh, now, so. fuck. Do you want to use a luck to reroll that or one of our banked rerolls? Uh, I'll just, I'll use a bank tree roll. Okay. You don't have to. I mean, if you want to take that fail, you can. No, not yet. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you, you wait till he's a little distracted. The sound of the meat grind, like this old hand crank meat grinders going. And you move off to the side and you hide behind another box. Like maybe you meet back up with like Ben and Simon as the three of you are watching from cover. Is Trevor's under this table. Like, Trevor, at some point, like, as he's moving around, like, maybe he kicks you a little bit, doesn't realize it. Like, maybe, like, kind of shifts his weight and he's, like, standing on, like, a pant leg or something like that. But sure enough, eventually, he finishes up. He starts uh, loading up his box that was full of meat and is now full of hand ground hot dogs walking towards the stairs and as he makes it to the first step he slips his boot goes maybe it's a little bit of blood and his toes just kind of like thump right across the you know the bottom stair and he crashes hard into the stairs and as he crashes, it's so hard that some of the crates kind of shift. A few boxes here and there fall. But all in all, it seems like you all are unnoticed. He gets up, brushes himself off, picks up all the hot dogs that fell on the ground and throw them back in the box. And then he continues his way up the stairs. And after a moment, you hear the door close. And you're alone now. Finish the lyrics. <clears throat> now it's time for the grind. Right, heave a little bit. Uh, we should go back. I will go see the weird guy's uh, thing. Mm. I don't. I don't want to be here. You're I kidding? Don't want to that was awesome. No, it's, Although, it's... what? What if? What if the girls are in trouble? Right. There was an arm in there. No, this. We. We're here for a purpose. Like, we need to save these people. Yeah. And view boobies. And we might see some boobies along the way, but that is just the path of the hero. Ours is the path of righteousness. We are here on a mission from God. We're going to beat the shit out of some goddamn arm grinding motherfuckers, and we're going to maybe grab just one boob, and they won't <laughs> shoot us because we've saved people. Right. 
Yeah, yeah. Is there a butcher knife around here or anything? He took the cleaver back up with him. But if you want to search the area, I will gladly let you make a luck test. Sure. And if anyone wants to search the area... Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not and sure I, will... I want to know what else is in this area. I got a two. Do a mind test. That is a success. Yeah, Did I you mean... see a, a mind or a luck? If You're doing luck if you're looking for like weapons or yeah. stuff. If you just want to so... take in what's happening and like learn things, it'll be a mind test. So if we're maxed out at six, how do you feel that now? You don't. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now the the payoff is is that eventually you may want to reroll, and you have to yeah. burn luck for rerolls. I've uh, already got my Bible and my crucifix, but I yeah. do want to look around more. I actually want to do the mind test. Yeah, absolutely. To see if I can learn something about what the hell's going on here. Okay. And I do make it. Okay. Very good. Uh, Richard, you doing anything? I'm uh, kind of like gathering my lunch back into my stomach. <laughs> I, you shouldn't eat that, man. It fell on the floor. <laughs> All right. So I've been looking around for a weapon. So those of you uh, looking for weapons. Uh, let's see here. So I'm going to say One of you finds like an old hay hook, like it's the, the crossbar with the big hook on it. Very big, rusty, gnarly looking hook. To wield this thing, it is going to be a two-handed melee weapon, so it's going to deal a D8 damage. Uh, and I know I'm... this. Ben, you're going to be like Wolverine. I am. I'll Oop. tell you what. We're gonna call this. Uh, we're gonna call this sharp. So it's gonna have the sharp tag. So it's a D8, and when someone takes damage from this, uh, every time they take a turn, they have to make a body test, uh, and until they pass that body test, they take an additional point of damage every turn. Ooh. Oh. Uh, so Ben, you've got this old hay hook that's sharp. Uh, and we'll say, Simon, as you are looking around, let's say that you find, uh... I'll tell you what, I'll give you your choice. Do you want a one shot, one use weapon that's going to do a big amount of damage? Do you want just a weapon that you can use? over and over again like that hand. oh chuck if you give me that choice i've got to have the one shot you the find shot an old can of uh what is it the hair net hair spray oh, aqua net aqua net that's <laughs> aqua it net. and you can see the cans kind of rusty but you also find some duct tape and some like grease soaked rags. You can flame easily thrower. make this into like a flamethrower. I'll say like a D6 flamethrower. Or a bomb. <laughs> or you could toss it and make it as a bomb. So if you use it as a bomb and throw it, uh, it's gonna deal the D6 damage and an additional D8 of damage. And that person's gonna be on fire and take continual damage until they put themselves out. So, uh, oh shit. So that's those of you looking for gear. Now, those of you looking for information about Trevor, as Richard, you are collecting your nerves. Uh, Richard, do you have any snacks in your bag? I don't think you do, Tyler. I don't, no. So, okay. Oh, you were talking to me. Yes, you are Richard. I'm, I'm not... No, I do not have any snacks in my bag, okay. no. I was just like, because to recover, like if you were to take fear damage or regular damage, you can... Take a break, have a snack to recover some, but I don't think you've taken any damage. That's, that's my favorite thing to do. Uh, no. Okay. So, Trevor, as you're looking around in the main area here, other than just junk, nothing really stands out to you until you go into that walk-in freezer. And that walk-in freezer has 
shelves full of other boxes like this. And along with that hanging from the, the ceiling are all of these like meat hooks with like these small humanoid bat creatures. Like they look like a small child, but with like these huge bat wings, this spiky head, these long fingers just hung from meat hooks, drained, dead, frozen, these boxes all have box uh, you know parts all these little different strange creatures broken apart stuffed in these boxes another thing that you notice with that as you're kind of moving in there is a line of salt right inside the door this thick i mean like this thick line of like salt going across the door kind of you have to step over it to get into the freezer but you know it's salt it's maybe like a quarter of an inch tall And there's, uh, yeah, just all these straight, like the dude said it downstairs, like fucking demon babies. And this looks like a bunch of fucking like tiny little like imp-like demons. Uh, even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will feel near where you were with me, your rod and your staff, they covered me. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I would not be afraid if you were close Trevor. beside me. Trevor, are you okay? Rod, you staff, Trevor, cover me. Trevor, even Trevor? though I walk through the valley of shadow and death, I will fear no evil. <laughs> you were with me, you're riding your staff, they cover me. Trevor. Even though I walk the valley of shadow and death, I will fear no evil. Hey, hey buddy, you were hey, with buddy? me, you're riding you okay? your staff, they cover me. You okay? Huh? You okay? I'm sorry, there's just a lot of stuff in here. Uh, Trevor's. Well, I'll look inside. Yeah, Trevor's yeah. beating the shit out of baby demon corpses hanging on meat hooks. So. That brings an interesting question. Are they are they killing demons? Are these the good guys? So, and I will tell you this. Uh, Trevor, for sure. Ben, also. Both of you give me mind tests. Okay. You are good at these? Pretty good at mind yeah, tests. Yeah, that's a failure. Uh, those of you who fail... Okay, so Ben, you fell. You are going to take two points of mind damage. Yay. So reduce your current mind score by two. Awesome. And then uh, let's see. What's your luck? Uh, currently, it is five. Roll me a d6. Two. Okay. Uh, so this scares you. It does. You're yeah. afraid, but you kind of, you move through it. Like you're unfazed by it at this point. No negative effects. I mean, yeah, did they spill something here at the door? Like bend down and like put my finger in it. It's salt. It is very oh, much awesome. salt. Yeah, mess with the salt line. <laughs> That's so good. Uh, give me a luck Why? test. Sure, yeah. What is your luck? It's five. Yeah, give me a luck test. Oh, my gosh. I got two. You poke it, you don't break the line. It made a mess. <laughs> Why did they spill salt here and not clean it up? That's just... I don't know, man. That's weird. Was there at least a broom and dustpan? Well, uh, I'm not going to clean them. it for him. Richard, I will not say you job. do see a broom and dustpan down here. We don't, we don't want them to know just yet that we're here. Okay, okay, okay. you're right. You're right. Okay, I just I Steve just is... beat in. It's it's okay. I just beat all the demon babies' heads in. Okay, I took care of that. That's I okay. Think they were dead already. S you S don't S know they're demon babies! So Are I beat sure? their brains and they can't come back yet, okay? I think they look more like minotaurs with because they got like the bull horns yeah. and the hoofy feet. Yeah. Simon? Seeing as Simon's into heavy metal in the 90s, he's got some occultism. Yeah, give me a mind <laughs> test, man. <laughs> <laughs> Makes it. You make it. Uh, these oh, wait, are... wait, wait, dude. No, wait. You cannot break the salt line. 
That is fact. cannot break it. It's a containment thing. Do you guys not like read books or watch movies? Oh, wait, yeah, they're all PG-13 and R. You probably haven't seen them. Yeah, my parents just leave the v VHSs out everywhere. So My mom trust says me on only this. one book. She's wrong. And look, you cannot break the salt line. Like, that's a containment field, like, thing. It's, it's keeping, like, bad things in or out. And, we and, make it out of here, out. Trevor. I want you to read my book. And I give you a co my copy of Naked Came the Robot. Very nice. Uh, Simon, you do pass. So, yeah, you know for sure breaking the salt line is bad. And you've seen enough art and things. Like, these would be, like, imps, lesser demons spawned in servitude of a greater demon. It's like the cover of the Sirith Ungal, the last, you know, LP they put out with the... Who? What? <laughs> Never mind. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll play it on my Walkman later. They don't play that on the radio here. No, because they're lame. My mom says the radio plays the devil's syrup. Syrup? Yeah, <laughs> it does. <laughs> I don't know what she means by that, but it's sweet. It makes you like it, but it's bad. Okay. Let me introduce you to the devil's hot sauce sometime. I've Just never had hot my sauce. I'm really excited. I'm, Come on. I'm going to put hot sauce on a hot dog. I'm really excited about it. But, but this gives me an idea. Uh, we're in the kitchen, right? You are in a, a basement with a meat block and a grinder and a walk-in freezer. Okay. There's no I'm other kitchen-like appliances no. down here. Keep an eye out for boxes of salt, guys. We might need it. That's a good idea. Oh, yeah, that's a really good idea. Hey. Okay. Dude, let's go find, let's go find these demons. How much, how much do you think a soul's worth? Fair question. I mean, if you had to ask and it came to it and, you know, you were bargaining and all, like, what would you ask for? Like a thousand dollars. That's pretty good. Yeah. 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 I mean, that would keep you I mean, in gas for years. Shit. <laughs> like, yeah, because, I mean, we get, we get a pretty good price per head on cattle, so... I Mustang with that. Two, three hundred. I mean, a used head. Yeah, yeah. You could buy a used Mustang with that. <laughs> All right, just something to consider. There's like, 90, keep in the back of your mind. You know, they're ninety Mustangs. They're come up. shitty. <laughs> Man, I know some people that like them. Anyway, y'all going up the stairs? T bird. Oh shit! There's. Yeah. Y'all heading upstairs? Yeah, let's go. Who's leading the way? It's, you know. Oh, not me. Maybe I'm not. The, I'm not leading anymore. Maybe they're good guys. Maybe demons trapped. You know? Huh? Hmm. Maybe. Holy shit! I'll lead the way here. Women I've got, that like, let this you see their, their bare boobies are kind of and angels, yeah. really. Agreed. Agreed. Okay. Okay. Finally, be strong in the Lord and the strength of His might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. For we do not wrestle against the flesh and the blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil and heavenly places. Therefore, we take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand the evil day. And having done all, stand firm. Therefore, having fastened the belt of truth and having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and as shoes for your feet, having put on the readiness given by the gospel of peace, and also the states of the peace of faith with which you raised the doors of evil, the one helmet of salvation, sort of spirit, word of God. Ah. I lean over so, Simon <laughs> waits. He reads really Simon, cool comic books. Simon yeah. waits for Trevor to finish and then just goes, Hail Satan. This is why <laughs> evil win. Good is long winded. <laughs> there you go. I don't know, uh, man. That sounds like a great comic book. Thank you for that bit of trouble there. That's fine. That's what we need. Yeah. Who's leading the way up the stairs? I'm going. Simon, you lead the way. You move up the stairs. You push this door open. It's not latched. And yeah, you find yourself in like a restaurant kitchen. Holy Look shit. For the There's an Eddie House going, Eddie. What's that? Look for salt. Yeah, uh, not yeah, a problem. You kind of move in. You can see this big, the dude who came downstairs. Uh, he is standing in front of like a flat top, kind of off to the side. You can see he's like grilling up some onions, maybe a couple burger patties. You can see these big like boilers off to the side. 
It's just that box of hot dogs he's made on the ground next to it. Every now and then, you know, he pops a few hot dogs into it. And, you know, orders come in. Yeah. As uh, you move in, you start kind of taking things in. And uh, Bert, I want to say, there's going to be salt here. Yeah, give me a D4. You find two boxes of like that Morton salt, like just the box with a little metal spout on it. Yeah. yeah. I had one to Ben. There you go. Ben. All right. You got I mean, we can't salt. pollute Trevor with this occultism stuff. Sure. We might need a virgin sacrifice later. Yeah, that's definitely <laughs> Trevor. And only Trevor. It, yep. Mm -hmm. Right, guys? Yep. That's correct. Only mm -hmm. Trevor. Just and kind of sneak past, grab the salt, sneak Awkward past. silence ensues. You grab the salt. You can see where the door leaving the kitchen is. As you're kind of moving through, you all will hear this whimpering noise. And you look over into one of the corners, and sitting on a stool is a waitress, a server. She's sitting there, uh, just wearing regular clothes with that black little, like, apron with her, like, book in the uh the pocket sitting there hands in her face or face in her hands uh she's crying she is kind of on the other side of the kitchen from the door leaving the kitchen into whatever's beyond the door what do y'all want to do all right guys <clears throat> put on your best 18 and up <clears throat> we gotta talk to the girl yeah Oh, okay. We gotta be older than eight, 18 to, you know. Come on, put on your 18 oh, face. Oh, oh my god, are we doing illegal stuff? Yeah. Oh, okay. As I should you probably hide this hay hook. Start walking over there. Here. And she looks up and she sees you all. Oh, what are you kids doing in here? You're mistaken, ma'am. We're at least 18. Give me and a charm looking test, for Simon. Some hot dogs. Nice. Give Actually, me a I charm test. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ah. Ooh, fail by two. So I'm gonna I'm gonna blow luck since I've got six. Yes, yeah, burn a point of luck. luck. You get a free reroll. There we go. My bad. Listen. People keep looking younger all the time. Y'all ain't supposed to be back in the kitchen. But I guess I've been back here for a while, so like... Go find your table. How many hot dogs y'all want? Uh, two each for starters? Alright, no problem. Uh, they're free without toppings. If you want to, uh, if you want some toppings, the toppings are, uh... 25 cents each. We got onions, fry or sauteed onions, mustard, relish, sauerkraut. Let, let, let me ask something. If I were a vegetarian, could I ask for a hot dog with all the toppings and no dog? Because I'd like two of those. Yeah, I don't see why not. I'll tell you what. The toppings, but no dog. I'll call it uh, 50 cents each. A lot of buck out of my floor. <laughs> Usually you pay after you eat, but that's fine, and she tucks it into a pocket. Listen, there is a... Uh, if you're going to be in here, hot dogs are free and all, but there is a uh, two-drink minimum before you can head in to the back area, so... Once you get in there, make sure you order at least two drinks from the barkeep, or you don't get to go into the back pot. All right. Trevor, as this conversation is happening, you feel something latch onto your ankle. And you look down, and one of these, like, cabinets, like, you know, industrial, like... Jurassic Park where like they're hiding in those like sliding like bins underneath and you look down and there is a man an elderly looking man 
reached out, grabbed you by the ankle. Looks like the top of his head is just like a big open like sore. It looks really gnarly. Ooh. You gotta get me out of here. You gotta get me out of here. Ma'am, could you go clear us a table over there? Um, and I'll I'll just hand her like two dollars. Fucking got it. You want a clean tabletop? I'll get you a clean tabletop. And she tucks the money in her pocket, wipes away the tears, blots up some mascara, gets up, heads on into the kitchen. And as soon as she's gone, gone I'll pull the dude up. Get up. Go for the closest door. Run as fast as you can. Wait, I, were go. the boobies that bad? They're not the boobies. There's no boobies anymore. I, do you know, I'm going to, because, you know, Trevor will know the address. Go to this address. Okay. Get Pastor Grimes right now and send him here. You want me to send the pastor here? Hey, you got it, because the weird demon things. Tell like, him he needs to go full Pulp Fiction on this place. You got it. Wait, you've seen Pulp Fiction? Wow, Trevor. It well, my my dad plays that one clip like a bunch. <laughs> or not clip, it's the 90s. It's the Oh, the scene where they look in the briefcases, there's a golden glow. I know the one. It's the Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah. I assume Pastor Grimes quotes that a lot. Probably, yeah, yeah. Uh, he tells us not to watch the movie, but he quotes it all the goddamn time. Yeah. Uh, so Trevor, first off, you're going to give me a charm test. See if you okay. can instill enough, instill enough courage in this man to make a run for it on his own. All right, I need a 14. <laughs> he Great. will. He will. Now, give me a luck test. What's your uh, luck score? Six. Oh, it's, it's fine. Six He's, right now. It's fine. Uh, for Thursday's game, I am definitely going to rework the luck. Sammy, I appreciate you buying all of this luck for us. But you have given the party the so much power. So uh, much change power. the prices around. Make trouble 100 bits. You can maybe said like bits. that there's a maximum luck you can have or something like something that. Something like that. Well, it caps out at 6 and 8. We'll, we'll figure it out, though. But yeah. Just two rerolls. No luck, just rerolls. Yeah. 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 So yeah, this guy, he sneaks out. As you're all standing there, getting ready to head to the table that's getting cleared off for you. The fuck you all doing back here? As you see, this big cook has stepped away from his flat top, pulled his headphones down. Here's some Slayer blaring out through him. <laughs> Rain in blood, dude, that rocks! We're Rain here for some fucking, fucking dogs and for some boobies. Yeah, we just 18 voice. <laughs> wondering where the fuck our food is. Did you order it? Yeah. God, that's what we forgot. No, we, we literally just ordered it. We told the wait. Oh, she's clearing our table. She hasn't made it back there yet. What the fuck are you doing back here? It says employees only. You fucking dicks. I he need a job. Can read. He, read. <laughs> he can't read. He. Uh, I know how to cook, and I need a job. Uh, we are not hiring, Simon. <laughs> as you're having this conversation with this dude, and he's talking to you, you can see this guy's got this big, like bushy, like biker beard, and you can see this like red finger kind of like poke out of the beard like oh like on his neck a little bit and then like kind of slither back in through another spot give me a mind test here man i don't like that <laughs> maybe you hold it together you see this and it looks like the fingers that he was chopping up it just like crawled out of his neck and then crawled back into another spot in his beard you're the only one who seems to have noticed it, but yeah, he's like, get the fuck out of here, all of you. Yeah, right, fine. I pull out my notepad again and start writing the title of Fingers in My Beard. 
It's a love song. Fingers in a beard and I want to scratch it. Fingers in a beard and I want to scratch it. That's a good song. I like that album. Anyway. You uh, you all head out. You see the little bar. You see a few tables. Actually, sir. What? Who's your manager? You want to talk to the manager? I do. I want to talk to your manager. You got it. The rules are sir. rules. Yeah. We got. We need to order two drinks first, Trevor. Then we can talk to the manager. Nah, it's fine. I'll take you all there right now. Let's go. And he walks out of the kitchen. He is leading you all through the dining area. You see the waitress like, hey guys, I got your table ready over here. And this big dude yells out, Dolores, not right now. Dolores, two Bermans on the rocks with Pepsi. You got it, hon. Therefore, We're going to see the manager. The fear of his anger and the strength of the battle, and it has set him in fire about, yet he knew not it burned him, and yet he laid it not to heart. And as he leads you through, like, the, the dining area, at the back of the dining area, there's this big door, this big, like, the plush-looking door with the buttons in it, neon trim around it with uh, old... Like, kind of like cracking, dried out posters of like just legs, just like from like pinups, just taped all over it. He pushes the door open. Come on, in you go. Okay. Go in. You walk in to the area where the dancers are. Well, should be. And as you look around, you can see there's all these chairs all these little tables set up all facing the stage the stage has this huge curtain drawn around it and you can see there's five or ten people sitting in chairs all facing towards the stage each one of them has some large kind of soft bulbous looking growth over their heads with writhing tentacles and they're just sitting there with these fucking growths over their heads Come on, you wanted to see the manager. It's too late to turn back now. Do you all keep I'm going? Sorry. It's never Simon, too late, Simon's and I'll hit him with my this. meat hook. <laughs> you say Whoa. you hit him with your meat hook? Yep. <laughs> Fucking roll like, it, it's man. It's never too late. <laughs> because, why not? I don't even need uh, Body? No, you don't need to roll body. You just roll the damage. Oh, that's right. This damage. That's a D8. And it's sharp. And it is sharp. You put three points of damage on this guy. We should run! No! It's fine. I'm gonna meet the manager. Where did I put my notepad? This is a notepad. I don't know now. when Trevor turned into scab, but... <laughs> nice. He took that acting job. You hit him for three. Blood starts like squirting out of the chest wound. And like in this blood, you'll all notice like there's like these little like white worms like wriggling around in it. Aww. You're all fucked now. Ben, that was your turn. Who's going yep. next? Uh, Trevor. I will just like hold the Bible in one hand and hold up my cross in the other hand. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. And just try to exude like yeah, give me a mind test. I swear it's nice to have a pastor for a wife. And just repeat yeah. a bunch of bullshit. Uh I'm going to re-roll that. Absolutely. One of the last times we played, Joe rolled up, and Joe got church kid as well. And No, I failed twice, 19 and 18. Just Oh, my goodness. Wow. You, really fucking wants me to fail. 
yell this out expecting the holy power to kind of like drive Meanwhile, them I've back. got the pouch full of money that we stole from the church. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. As you cause. <laughs> hear oh, this deep oh. gurgling laugh coming behind the stage. Very much like Jabba Hutt's so like oh, oh, oh. I like the curtain ripples a little bit. Trevor, who's going after you? Richard. What's that? Richard, Richard, you're up. Oh shit, guys, I don't have a weapon. I don't think that was the same voice I used earlier, but yeah, close. Um, <laughs> what do I you guess have? I'm gonna you got a backpack, I got a flashlight. Uh you have a flask. A and you flask? have a saxophone. You can certainly use your uh saxophone as a weapon. Now I would also like to point out that background weapons or background items mm -hmm. uh you can use them for cool shit. Give oh, me yeah? oh that's right. <laughs> I use both of mine. What does it do? Uh let's see. Once per session. Oh shit, you can use your a background item to give you an automatic pass on a test. Uh, on a test. Uh, could I take an automatic pass on my stupid Bible bullshit? Absolutely. Right? Yeah, you use your Bible, you use your things, you do it. It passes. Mm -hmm. Give me a D6. Okay. And instead of that deep guttural laughing. There's this high-pitched, screeching, keening noise coming from behind the curtain. All right, now, Richard. I'll take the flashlight out and try and swing it at its... Sure, like nuts. it's one handed weapon. It's a D6, so just roll me a D6. Ooh. You hit him in the nuts for two damage. As he... Oh, you little shit! Richard, who's going next? Uh, I'll let him go next. Absolutely. He recoils. He kind of reaches up with two hands. And actually, hang on. First, he needs to give me a body test. Oh, because of the sharp quality. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, and for his stats, that's a fail. He takes another point. Wow. And he reaches up, and he is going to clobber. So let's see. Ben, you stabbed him. Richard, you hit him in the nuts. Simon, you haven't gone yet. Uh, one to two is Ben. Three to four is Richard. Richard. He fucking clobbers the shit out of you. But it only deals two points of damage. That comes out of your HP. But he's got two hands. And Ben, you catch the other one. And take three. Gee, that's all of my HP. But just all of my HP. Okay. Once you start dropping body points, we need to start rolling for injuries. Yep. Simon! It's your turn, and you get two turns in a row. All right. Uh, so how far away are the curtains and the chuckling behind it? Maybe 20 feet. 20 feet. I think I can hurl bomb that far. I bet you can. You <laughs> fucking chuck this goddamn Get out the bomb. Zippo. Yeah. Light the grease. You Toss throw it. It. it thumps into something soft and then there's the hard sound of it hitting the uh whatever it is behind there you get to roll a d6 and a d8 yes d6 plus a d8 heck yeah that is seven points of damage and i do want to remind people that you can use luck to re-roll damage yeah. if you want to mm, that's kind of low um i will Okay. I will spend one point of luck to re-roll that. So a D6 Absolutely. and a D8. D6 and a D8. Mm. That is a lot better. As, boom, and there's now this squealing noise. There's the hissing of burning flesh. As you deal nine points of damage. 
Okay. Uh, Simon, something's so on s- fire back there. You get another turn. Yeah. All right. Uh, so I don't see anything yet, but uh, we hear something on fire back there. What else is in this room? There are a bunch of people sitting in the chairs with these strange, like, growths over their heads, little tentacles writhing, like flesh colored jellyfish, like over their heads. Um, you can also see there are unlit candles on the tables. There's chairs. Um, there's a sectioned off section with like a velvet uh, rope with like the brass ends. Um, DJ right, booth right. that's empty. So here's what Simon's going to do. He's going to flick open his saxophone case, hop up on a table, and try to snap these people out of whatever spell they're in by playing To Hell with the Devil by Striper on his saxophone. Nice. <laughs> Give me a mind test, man. Ooh, actually, oh, sorry, that should have been a charm test, so we'll take oh, that charm. and apply it towards charm. Yeah, Do you want uh, to charm is better, but that's still a fail. I will, so okay. I'll drop down to four luck, and I will reroll this. Mm. Yes. As you start playing it, you see the little. Oh, tentac- wait, you know what? I didn't have to do that. Saxophone's oh, one of my background. You oh, automatically nice. <laughs> succeed. Take that point of luck back. Yeah. You, that's your background <laughs> item free pass for the session. As the tentacles start writhing a little bit, people start like moving around, like hands start going up and grasping at this, starting to pull it off. Uh, as you can see, like these things start pulling off. You can see like Trevor, the shape that guy's head was in, their heads are all in the same shape, like just this big open sore all over their head. As they start kind of like falling out of their chairs, discombobulated. And as this happens, the screeching noise behind the curtain kind of fades out just a little the volume drops just a little bit so simon who's next we got to follow up this with some trevor action trevor i think i'm going to continue on like i'm going to walk up to it and i will like just whatever i'm going to walk up to the thing Reading out of the Bible, trying to press the cross down into whatever is there. You gotta throw the curtain open so you can do this. Yes, absolutely. Do you walk up, throw the curtain open? Um, this is one of those images that I really wanted to include for this session, but I'm just like, that's a little too far. So I'm just gonna leave it at the description of the brain bug from Starship Troopers. No. Uh, you see it. First thing, you got to give me a mind test, man, because this thing is fucked up. Okay. I'm holding my cross. I'm holding my Bible. I've used one, but not the other. Okay. Now, this mind but, test uh, is for fear. Yeah. No matter what happens. Can I use one of my items for an auto success? You can. Now, this is this will prevent the fear, right? That means yeah. you will then have to roll to affect this thing, because whatever happens, you still, well, hopefully... Yeah. But yeah, you can absolutely use I one wrote of your... a critical failure. Yeah. Other than the fact that I've got the cross literally in my hand. The <gasps> power <gasps> of the Lord washes through you <gasps> and shakes off this <gasps> fear. Uh, uh, Luke eleven twenty. But if I, with the finger of God, cast out devils, no doubt the kingdom of God has come upon you. And then is that a mind test? Uh, actually, it would be a charm test. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Jeremy, is your wife gonna have questions for you later tonight? Maybe. <laughs> that is fantastic. Give me a d6 here, man. My wife loves when I do bullshit, semi-religious things. <laughs> nice. Holy shit, lollygaggers! Thanks for that. That is five. That is fantastic. Uh, Jeremy, roll me 2d6. Wow. Okay. Yes. One, two. How about uh, that a, is ten? a 10? Yeah. <laughs> okay. You do it, it sizzles, it burns. 
Uh, it takes an injury, which is going to reduce its maximum strength by three, which also reduces its current strength by the same amount. So it's free damage. Uh, Trevor, who's next? Simon. Simon. Simon already went. Uh, yeah, I was talking. Oh, I thought we had already gone through. My bad. No, that's fine. Uh, we, yeah, Simon took two turns in a row, and then he picked uh, you. So you can choose me, Ben, or Richard. Let's go with Ben this time. All right. So this uh, dude is still standing in there, right? Absolutely, he is. Thinks. Oh, okay. Um, uh, you know what? Chicken butt. I've. I've got that's right. I've got a flask uh, filled with Zima, uh, the the most popular uh, young young uh, person it beverage is. Is. of the nineties, and uh, I I, I I'm fairly Coke. certain it's going to be very successful if I just like dump my flask of Zima onto his open wounds. Oh, okay, sure, yeah. Uh, I tell you what, just give me a D six, man. All right. Oh shit, Sammy. Thank you. And Hammer of Crom. Thank you. Five damage, and this is against the big dude? Yeah. Alright, give me 2d6. Six. Uh, that seven. is a seven? Okay. Uh, you're reducing his max strength by one, which reduces his current strength. Okay. Ben, who's next? Richard or the enemies? Uh, we'll do the enemies. As this big dude screaming from the burning, you little fucking shits! Now, <laughs> he puts his fingers in the hole that oh, you no. spiked into him. Now, he does need to roll a body test. He's going to have a hard time because his current body score is reduced very much. He does pass it, though, so he does not take that one point of damage. He's no longer bleeding. Doesn't matter. Take more. As he reaches in and he rips his chest cavity open. And as he does so, all of these long, bulbous-headed tentacles start flying out where organs should be. I want to roll a d4. No, I don't need to, because... There's four of us. Four of us. Simon, you hopped up on the table. You're playing your saxophone. Trevor's up by it. So, yeah. Uh, everyone but Trevor is going to get slapped by these tentacles and take five points of damage. So that All comes right, out so, of HP, and then once your HP a, is out, then it comes out of body. That's a, that'll be an injury for me then. No, so so oh, if you take any injury. body, it's injury, or if you take any body, we roll to see if you have an injury, and that's based off of luck. Ooh, okay. So yep, I'll need to roll that. Who all had body loss? So you're going to roll based off of your luck. If your luck is three to six, you roll a single d6. Is that anyone's currently luck not in that range? I made my luck. Okay. Uh, Bert, you get a four. Uh, you are winded. You gotta, you're going to lose your next turn. Uh, well, I've been playing saxophone like hard and rocking. Absolutely, for a yeah. Bit, yeah. So. <laughs> uh, ben and Richard, why don't the two of you go and roll your luck? Uh, one is also winded. You lose your next turn. And six is bruised you reduce your maximum i say strength but this should be body i need to fix that yeah you reduce your maximum body by one point for the next 24 hours that also mm -hmm. reduces your current as well Ow. as the creature on the stage, once again, described as the brain bug from Starship Troopers. It is burning. It is in pain. It is going to make a body test. 
and it shudders as this fire racks across it. It deals more damage, and it does so. It screams, and out of its orifice, it just starts expelling all of this sticky, thick mucus all over Trevor. Trevor, you need to give me a body test. Okay. 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 Yep. 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 You pass it? I'm good. I'm good. All right. You were covered in this slippery, sticky mucus that this thing just expels all over you in its dying throes. Oh, and submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. You will have disadvantage on all body tests until you manage to scrape this off with an action. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, that's its turn. Who hasn't gone yet? Me. Richard, it's your turn. This dude is now um, standing over there, his torso ripped open, these tentacles fl flailing around. Uh, I'm winded. You lose your turn. So and then I'm gonna, you I'm gonna, get can your I, turn. So what I want to do is I'm, I'm going to combine them both, even though I can't do anything this turn. Uh, but not to be upstaged by <laughs> Simon, I'm going to try and jump up on a table, but miss... So then take my next turn to get up on the table and whip my saxophone out and start playing. Absolutely. Give me a charm test, man. And I will take the test because kind of it would be funny if it failed. You got a sax trying to, trying to upstage Simon. That okay, pass. No, fast. So you're playing and you're fucking rocking it, man. Are you trying to get any effect with this playing? Uh, just like um, encourage the party. Okay. I'll tell you what. This encouragement, I'll give everyone advantage on their next roll. Sweet. Thanks to Richard. Nice. Richard, who's nice. going after you? Uh, I feel like... Um... Wait, Richard was last. Doesn't he get two? He did. Yeah, no, his I did. first, oh, he was I winded, so he lost his first turn, and then he took gotcha. a second mm -hmm. one. Yeah. Uh, I think Ben should go next. Ben, you're right. up. I will swing my, my big old hay hook at it. Yeah, give me the damage. That is a three. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah. He takes three. Did you want to use a point of luck to re-roll that? Savory yeah, apricot. Will. Holy shit, a Joe has shown up. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yep. Another it's meant to be okay. A uh this dude's still up there. Go ahead and roll me 2d6. Oh, that's uh that is a happened. seven. Okay. Ben, this dude's still going. Jay Bruce, thank you for the raid. Nice to have you here. Ben, who's going next? Simon. Uh, Simon is wounded, so he will have to skip this turn. And there's also Trevor, currently covered in sticky mucus. So as the second saxophone starts playing, I'm taking a breather. It's all the smoking, you see. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Trevor go. All right. Okay. Trevor? Yeah. So I do have disadvantage on body tests, but I'm not going to do a body test. I'm going to continue with the power of the cross in this thing's face. Okay. You move up to the whipping tentacles. Mm -hmm. Mark 5, 13, and forthwith Jesus gave them leave, and the uncleared spirits went out and entered into the swine, and the herd ran violently down to a steep place into the sea and were choked in the sea. Don't forget you have advantage on it. I do. Oh shit, you do. The first one would be a fail, but you gave me advantage. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And that is a success. Give me a d6. Okay. Two. He drops to his knees. The tentacles start drooping onto the ground he's trying to crawl towards someone but you can tell like the the fight has been you know jesus it out of him jesus it yeah uh he's just out of him trevor simon's turn or this thing's turn simon's turn 
Because I, I like the, the balance between Holy Kid and Metal Kid. Now, Simon is winded. Mm -hmm. So he will lose this turn. Oh, yep. that's true. So I'll pass it on to... But at least that, that lets it... the boss's turn then, yeah? Yeah. It crawls up. Tentacles, very lackadaisical, start writhing out. And start, like anchoring itself to like fixtures and stuff and it's trying to drag itself out towards the door trying to escape simon that's all it's going to do because it is in terrible shape you take your turn simon and then you take your turn you're muted Okay, so there you are. Uh, so, are, is anyone was anyone broken out of their stupor from uh, my yeah. playing the last time? They have were. started scattering, like crawling towards the door. Okay, and the thing behind the curtain dead. Your fire and Trevor's uh, preaching did it in. Okay. So there are no enemies left? There's before. one enemy who is slowly trying to crawl away from you. It's that cook, but who is chest ruptured with the tentacles. Did you All right, I just body beat him. For it? What's that? Is that? The body test for it, because I hit it with the hook? Uh, oh, I guess I do have to make a body test. A I've just ago, been giving him an injury. Oh. Didn't it pass last round and it ends it? I'm not it worried. Passed fast alarm, but then I hit it again. So. Oh, yeah. that's right. You hit it again. Oh, it's fine. Yeah. Anyway, Simon, what do you got, man? Yeah, I beat it with the saxophone case. That's beat a <laughs> D8. That is Six it, man. Points. That is it. As you brain this thing, the tentacles stop. Everyone else really starts like coming out of this fog. They start stumbling out. You were left with the two demonic corpses in this room. Anything else you all want to do as we close this out? I lock eyes with Trevor, the waitress. Guys, I think we should burn all these bodies so they don't come back to life. Dalton. Did you say something about salt? Oh, yeah. Start pouring salt. <laughs> nice. You start salting the nice. corpses. Richard, there is a full bar out there. If you want to go grab some bottles of booze, you can mix that grab. in with the salt, light them up. Yeah, I'll grab a okay. bottle of something. Just douse them in. Was, was my bourbon and Cokes delivered they, to the table? They were waiting for you at the table, yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll shoot both of those later. On the nice, table. nice. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, we're just I'm not walking out of here without my free hot dog. You can go back and get it. You saw how they made the hot dogs, though. As we leave the burning building, I say, boobies are overrated. I want to go to the dark, warm place or whatever it was. Is this what boobies no, are like every don't. time, guys? Look, I don't <clears> think it can <throat> be worse than this. I'm yeah. just saying. Okay. Mm. All right. As we are going to fade out, the party walking away from mm. the burning building. Hot dogs, booze. And sadly, the party does not get to see what they came here to see. And that's where we're going to wrap it. So let's do some closing plugs. Uh, and then we'll get the hell out of here. Uh, Bert, you want to start us out? Oh, hey. Um, I don't know that I've got anything going on this week other than Saturday on the official Goodman game stream doing some weird frontiers, I believe. Yeah. I may have a game of some classic BX D D this Friday. We'll see. Ooh. We'll see. I'm kind of swamped with work, but maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Jeremy. Hi, uh, Aaron Reese on Patreon. Comics, uh, tokens, maps. Check it out. It's fun. Yes, it is. There we go. John, what do you got? Uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays on the Defenders of Cobalt YouTube channel. We have new episodes coming out uh, of our uh, Pathfinder 2 
actual play of uh, the Age of Ashes Adventure Path. And uh, oops, they are all goblins. Uh, definitely nothing chaotic happens at all. True story. All right. Tyler, you got anything? Nope. Okay. Not, not anything that you're not in. Very fair. All right. Uh, so for here on Defenders for the rest of the week, uh, if you come back tomorrow night, we are continuing our Dungeon Crawl Classics campaign. Night Below. Well, Night Below using Dungeon Crawl Classics. Bert, Jeremy, John will be there. Alex will be there. Dan will be there. Uh, Thursday, we'll be back here doing more Teenage Odyssey with a slightly different crew. Uh, I think, Tyler, you're the only one scheduled to return on Thursday from this crew. Somehow, yes. Yeah. 8.30. Not 9.30. 8.30. Gotcha. Uh, but we'll have... God, who will we have? We'll have Dan, Maitre, Joe, Eddie. Dan, Maitre, Joe, Ooh. Eddie, and Tyler. Yeah, those are yeah. five for Thursday. Some more Teenage Odyssey. Different story. Um, and then Friday, Joe is starting up his own campaign for his game that he is making called Anvia. Uh, Tyler, John, and I will be players in that, along with Jake and along with Dan. Uh, mm -hmm. So that's Friday. And then, like Bert said, Saturday night, Goodman Games official. Uh, Jeremy and I play father and son. Uh, yeah, it's good. It's good. Uh, I don't fucking know. That's all I got. So uh, until we see you next time. Enjoy the free hot dogs. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs>